Thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring. More on them later. Join me for some elegant holiday preparations connoisseur style in today's video. Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. The holidays are upon us and you know one of my main mottos, being chic is being prepared. So let's prepare together. I'm about to do a little planning session, but before I get started, I wanted to light some candles and make a cup of tea. to write out my to-do list in my planner for the projects I need to get done. These projects are seemingly small, but if I take care of them now, I can relax more as Christmas approaches, which is my goal. I want to slow down and enjoy the season. So here's what's on my list today. Make cookie dough, iron the holiday linens, prepare holiday outfits, prepare decorations, buy string lights, declutter the hot spots, and maybe make a freezer meal. Probably not going to get this all done in one day, but we'll see what I do. My plan is to relax through this to-do list and not stress out. I'm going to begin by making some sugar cookie dough for the freezer. If I make this now, by the time the Christmas season comes around, we can just pull the dough from the freezer and the kids can have fun using the cookie cutters and decorating them with sprinkles. Sugar cookies are super easy to make. This is a standard sugar cookie recipe that you can find anywhere. I've made it so many times I have it memorized, but I will leave it down below for you too. It's a good one to have in your recipe catalog. Combine flour, baking soda, and baking powder together and set that aside. In a mixing stand, beat the sugar and butter together and then add the egg and vanilla. Gradually add the flour mixture to this. And just make sure that it's all blended really well. To prepare it for the freezer, you can place the dough in a labeled gallon freezer bag. When it's time for you to bake the cookies, bring them out of the freezer for at least a half an hour before baking. Roll out the dough to about a quarter of an inch thick, and then you're going to cut out the shapes with your desired cookie cutters. You'll bake them at 350 degrees for around 10 minutes. This will come in handy in December when we fancy some cookies but don't feel like getting out all the ingredients. Let's talk about wardrobe prep, particularly holiday sweaters. Lily Silk have sponsored this video, and did you know that they not only do beautiful silk clothing, but they also have amazing sweaters. Many of them are perfect for the holiday season. I'm going to show you three of them here. Starting off with the sweater you've seen me wearing in this video. It's a beautiful cream round neck drop shoulder merino wool sweater. This sweater has a lot of structure to it, making it so fashion forward. It has puffed sleeves that taper in at the cuff. Anne of Green Gables would approve. And it also has a defined waist. 
It looks good with jeans, black trousers, skirts. It's so chic. The second sweater is this ultra fine merino wool crew neck sweater in red. This deep red color makes this the ultimate holiday sweater. It has a cozy cable knit texture and a loose relaxed fit. You can easily wear this to any casual holiday event. The red color looks beautiful in pictures too. And finally, the round neck diamond cashmere sweater. This is my favorite of them all. It reminds me of a Harley Quinn or the Harley Quinn short stories by Agatha Christie. It's so unique. I could pair this sweater with any of the bottoms I have in my 10 item wardrobe. It gives off an elegant and whimsical look. So check out Lily Silk below. I have a few different coupon codes that you can stack during their Black Friday sale, which is going on right now. So I'll leave everything down below. Now it's time for me to get some ironing done. My holiday linens have been sitting in the linen cupboard for a year now and they need to be ironed. I'm going to take the time to prepare them today, so next week I can just bring them out and they'll be ready to go. set aside a day every now and then and get ahead on the upcoming season, whatever season that may be. It helps me to feel prepared. And now time for some mantle prep. Because we're decorating for Christmas soon, I need to clear the mantle and prepare it for the garland. After clearing the surface of the mantle, I'm taking the Method Almond Wood Cleaner and wiping it down. I love the smell of this wood cleaner. It never gets old for me. I'm doing a bit of early decorating here because I don't want to leave the mantle blank. So I'm going to adorn it with the garland, topiaries, and wreath. These are all from King of Christmas, who I also get my tree from. Next week when all the decorations go up, I'll be adding all sorts of decor to this, like my favorite nutcrackers. But for now, it will just be the foliage. The painting on the left, the one of the people at the table, is by artist Rebecca Lee, and the bird painting is by artist Jose Trujillo. A day has passed and I've snuck off to the hardware store to buy some Christmas lights, so I can now check that off my to-do list too. Finally, it's another day and I want to tackle some of the clutter hotspots in my home and prepare them for the holiday decor that's about to go up. I've had this herb grower that Ben gave me on the counter for a few months now without growing herbs because it requires seeds. When I went to the garden center, I know this sounds crazy, but they were out of seeds. So I've had it sitting here until I can find the seeds that I want. I'm going to put this away until the seeds I'm looking for come in and then it will go back. Then I'll try my hand at growing more herbs indoors.
After clearing the surface, I'm wiping it down, and then I do the same thing in another clutter hotspot, our butler's pantry. We had all sorts of things here, like my old typewriter and several different teapots. It feels good to wipe this down and get these spaces clear. I hope today's video provided you with lots of motivation to prepare for the holidays. Thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. Be sure to use my links and codes down below and don't forget that the codes are stackable with their Black Friday sale which is going on now. You can enjoy some major savings that way. Keep calm and remain classy everyone and happy Thanksgiving from the Connoisseur family. Love, Jennifer.